Hello, it's Claire, the Seaside CEO, and today's video is about Epic Wealth, which is the fun name. I love acronyms, letters, words, playing with words, hence the manifestation. And I wanted to create a process that was fun for me, plurking, if you like, about doing sales calls, because that whole thing just used to fill me with dread. And I've worked with loads of mentors, listened to lots of audios, read lots of things, learned scripted ways of doing it, etc. over the last five years. And what I realised was that I like having a process, but I don't like having a script. Guess what? I don't have a script for my videos. When I'm doing drama, I don't like a script either. So if you like a script, have a script. If you don't like having a script, don't have a script. But you need to have some kind of process. So here's what's worked for me. The epic wealth. So epic is about whatever word you want to use instead of a sales call. So people call them clarity calls, discovery calls. Um, you, you can have a funky title or not, but the, if you're a coach, the world is full of people offering discovery and clarity calls. So you have to stand out in some way, which kind of goes back to the first video about really showing up as you, you know? So other words you can use. So epic, what does it stand for? So for me, I was playing with words and then of course they had initial letters so I played with them and it made epic. So it's about enrolling people. If you think you've got a club or society like the Clarity Club, I enroll people into here. You know, you enroll in societies, you enroll in clubs. Um, when you join the Scouts and the Brownies when you're little, you're, you, you're enrolled into them. And you're paying money to go there, but you don't think of yourself as having been sold to. You know, so let's start thinking about it. It's kind of inviting people into your tribe and your club and your coaching, but they're paying you money to be in your club. There you go. Um, you could talk about proposing, making a proposal. So if you work with corporates, you might have to submit a written proposal. Sometimes in coaching, you can submit a written proposal or a PDF or an outline of what you offer. Or your proposal could really be what you talk about on the call and then saying, would you like to be part of it? You know, here's how much it costs, here's what it is. Are you interested? That's kind of the way I'm doing it at the moment. Um, invitation, invite people to work with you. Because what you're looking for isn't a sale. You're looking for two things. You're looking for a client that really wants to work with you. And you're looking for you finding a client that you want to work with who actually has got a problem you can solve. If you think they're struggling with something that's not your specialty, do not take them on as a client. If they make your heart sink, do not take them on as a client. You know, you have a choice to say no as well, even if they're chomping at the bit to give you money. If they don't feel like a good fit, you don't do it. And I'll talk about more about that in a minute. But the ones who are a good fit, you invite them to work with you. And that equals cash or cash flow or celebration, whatever you want the C to be. Because focusing on these calls, enrollment proposal, invitation calls, whatever you want to call them is where the money is, which we talked about in the other video. So the wealth part, let me see if I can read this back to front. Who specifically do you work with? So you need to have some idea of who your ideal clients are. So I talk about, I work with creatives, coaches and visionaries, which is kind of pretty general in a way but the way I show up with my pictures of the seaside and my colorful drawings and my cartoons and my energy and my I only try and work four hours in the morning most of that plurking if I can have fun I want to have fun and then take the afternoon off that's what I do and if you like that approach you might want to speak to me if you think that's crazy and you don't get it and you'd rather work another way or you don't like the way I look the way I sound the way I show up you don't like my colorful things you think they're childish I'm not the coach for you and that's all good so be specific they need to have money to invest ideally but to start with if you just want to get practice having calls just do go crazy on calls because it will really get your confidence and your energy up and if people can't afford to pay you right then for your coaching, you can ask them just to do a testimonial about the call, share it on social media, tag you in, and it gets you a testimonial, which is all good. And uh, yes, so if they sign up, they need to have the money, they need to be ready to start. Sometimes it's just timing is not ready, but make sure you can keep in touch with them, which is why I like Facebook groups, because I can keep in touch with people I've had a call with who weren't ready at the time, who sometimes come back to me months later when they are ready. Uh, the E, an energetic connection. Do you feel like you want to work with them and they want to work with you? It's kind of an intuitive thing. If you feel like, well, they've got the money, but I'm not sure, it's probably a no for both of you. Are they aligned? So is what they're offering something that you'd be really excited about? I've had some brilliant calls this week with women who've just got the most amazing projects. I'm like, oh, please let me help you get that out in the world. You know, it'll be exciting for me to help you. 
um, as well as it'll be exciting for you to work with me. Cool. Um, right, listen. I talk a lot on these videos, but actually on the call I do listen a lot. So you need to listen to what they're saying. You need to listen to what their problems are. You need to listen to what they're struggling with because you need to know whether you're the solution or not. Laughing is good as well. Have fun with it. Have fun with the calls. Have fun with selling. Um, you know, I spoke to a woman the other day who said she wasn't ready yet, but she was really interested. And I was like, I'd sold two out of two. And, no, you've ruined my statistics. You know, it's not how most people talk. And that's all good because I want to make it light. Um, and you need to love it. You need to love the process of connecting with your potential clients. And believe me, the more you connect and the more fun you have. And when you start to make sales, you begin to really love it. Um, tell tell them how I help, right? They need to be clear what you're offering and what your skills are and what you're good at and what you know. So, um, you know, they need to know what it is that you're offering, which is why I say package it up, be really clear what the benefits are because then you can explain it really well. The timing needs to be right for them. It might just be a matter of, oh my God, they're really interested, but they've got so much else to do or they didn't realize it was so intensive or that would really fit with their business in two months time and make a note of it. Make sure you keep in touch with them. And then either it's a hell yeah or it's a no. If you both feel like, oh my God, this is it, let's do it. Seriously, it's easy. You send an invoice, you send your agreement, whatever it is, you get paid, you start. If there's any doubt or any wobbling, it's like, that's fine. Let's just leave it, keep in touch, come back to me, let me know if you've got any questions and, and be available to them, but make sure it's a yes. So your epic wealth calls, ladies and gents, Focus on getting people on the phone, getting people who you think you can help onto the phone. Be specific who you help and what you help with. Create a connection with them. Feel like, is there an alignment? Is there a match? Listen, laugh and love it. Tell them how you can help. Be really clear that you're a match or not. And either it's a hell yeah for both of you or it's a no. If you haven't booked a call yet, the link is in today, day 12's. A post on the group and if you've got any comments any questions post them below and I'll do my best to answer them Whew. have a great manifestation program and get stuck in I look forward to speaking to you if I haven't spoken to you already you're doing brilliant bye